to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out This is my little girl, my PK Ripper. Well, it's not a little girl, it's a 24 inch PK Ripper Flavel Flyer. I've had it for about 10 years, I think. Love this thing, I've done thousands of kilometers of it. Today's video is a sponsored video. Uh, Bocker Bearings sponsors again this year and they wanted to do part of that sponsorship with the fishing team. They wanted to collaborate with us and do a video on something other than fishing bearings. Um, and that's where this girl comes in. She's done, she's had a hard life. Bearings, we're gonna, replace the crank set bearings and replace both wheel bearings so sets so that's uh yeah looking forward to it now the bearings they're supplying is a ceramic hybrid uh, bearing which is a pretty much it's going to be a super super jump up from the standard bearings they supply with the bike uh they're very resistant to water corrosives crap and dirt and stuff which is everything this goes through so with next thing we're going to do we're going to take this inside my little girl and strip her apart get all the old bearings out we'll show you the differences between my old bearings and the new bocker bearings and then we're going to put them back together and then we're going to take it for a ride yeah let's go to it ciao Wham. righto we're going to remove the wheels uh, move all the pedals and cranks and get it ready and see what we need to do to knock these bearings out. So we're gonna replace them. Grease, not much fun. Some gloves, just some cheap gloves you can get, um, anything will do. Our, get our wheel nuts loose, pop the chain off. You'll probably, depending on how tight your, oh, that's pretty loose, how tight your brake pads are, just you'll have to rele release that. Just I've just released it off the cable because it's easy to adjust. Then you don't have to worry about adjusting the other settings. Drop that chain off and there's one wheel out and said try not to use shifters if you can because um, well it just rounds off nuts and you'll end up having to replace them. Front one's probably the same, you might have to release those brakes on the front one as well. Put it out. And there you go, tyres, both tyres off, easy. I'm going to go to the crank sets now. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. Pull that right out. Now it might be tight on that spline. I've got another Allen key at the back. Okay, so yeah, you just want to come in here. On the back of this one, I've got another Allen key and that's that's just putting the pressure on the spine uh, down here that the crank sets on. Should be able to come out of the whole thing unit. There we go. So that's pretty much got us to our next stage. So we've got the wheels off, everything pulled apart. You can see the bearings in there. What I'm gonna do is just quickly match up those bearings to make sure they do actually fit. or well, they do look like the same size. Inside shaft looks good. Outside diamond looks good, so that's all good. They're gonna match up nicely. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our next step, which is probably the hardest part is gonna be working out how to pull these bearings out. Now there's two bearings and there's a spacer, like a tube that sits in between them that obviously keeps the bearings from falling in and sliding in and out the inside here so I've got to get a punch of some sort and just they should just pop straight out I'm hoping and then on the bearings on the wheels again same thing I've got to pull the, pull those shafts apart and we'll go from there need a hammer uh, 
some little shock absorbing, I think it's not too bad if you can. Um, you need a punch of some sort, proper bearing uh, punch there, so you can see it's oval. I don't know if you can see it there, I'll bring it a bit closer. You can see it's oval. So there's, I've knocked out the other side. I'll show you how to do this side. So there's, there's one out, and we're gonna just double check that to match up the bearings. So that's our new Bocker bearings, hybrid ceramic. And then there's our old Samox. Don't know if you can hear that. That sound, that's what the old ones sounded like. And here's the new ones. No noise, that's how they should sound. So I've got, just got a bit of timber and got that under. So now I can just put my foot on it and now it's solid. So now it should be a lot simpler to pop out. There we go. And that's it. Just needed, again, see, taking that flex out by a little bit of timber here just to support the frame. Foot on there, locks it down. You don't need any special tools. Just a little bit of, that's just a garden uh, stick, so that's all good. Burn out. No one out. Don't know if you can hear that. Sounds terrible. So that's good, I'm glad we're changing him. So now I'm just gonna clean up this area here. We'll get that all clean, uh, nice and clean before we put the new bearings in. And then we'll get, I'll show you how to put those new bearings straight in here and that'll finish that area. You put that crank back together, done and dusted, just the wheels to do. So I've got some solvent here, the clean power from Bocker Bearings, it's really good stuff. You only need a little drop on there, come through, run it around in that, where you're gonna reinstall those bearings and then, Make sure it's all spotless. Again, on the other side, make sure that ring, any sort of stuff that could be sitting on that surface could either cause rust spots on the bearings on that outer race. Okay, as you can see, we're, we've come off the floor now. So all we need to really do is just find a way that you can lie it over. And I'm just gonna use, I've got my Bocker bearing mats here, because that's just a little bit of rubber. That's gonna give it just a little bit of support. Righty, hey guys, we're gonna, Put this bearing in here. I've got a little Teflon, one of my Teflon punches that I use. Obviously, it's a bit bigger than a normal punch, but just a block of timber is ideal. Just something that's got a little bit of give in it. Now, what we want to do is we, when you're putting in bearing in, we never want to push on this inside race. So that inner race, that's where the the balls are. They're running around that inside race, so you never hit on this inner ring. Standard mechanic secret: uh, just get a, a socket. So the outer diameter of that socket sits on that ring. So there's no way that anything can hit the inside. You want to find something that's as close to the exact outer diameter of that. We we'll use that because that's going to fit perfectly over on that outside ring of that bearing for the install. Super, super important. So we'll just place that on there and plastic hammer, hammer to start with. We can just tap it down get our socket, sit it over the top, and just... And then you can hear the difference there, and she's home. And still spinning freely. Make sure, obviously, if that's binding up when you put that in there, you've you've had an accident. Right here, we'll flip it over and we'll do the other side. Now, remember, when you come back over to do the other side, we've got our axle there. Don't forget to put that tube in. I'll flip the bike over. Again, I've reset it up. I've got it under that bit of timber. Rightio, let's chuck this next bearing in. Just give it a quick little. Get it going in the right way. You'll see where it's, where it's high and where it's low. Just walk around. Nice solid blows. Ooh, I think I've just popped that out, have I? And she's home. Job done. Now you would have kept all your spaces on the same shaft so we know which side they're all running. Make sure they go all back on the same side. I'll wipe off before they go on. Whack that back on. A little bit of anti-seize on there that'll look after her. Oh yeah. You can feel the difference in that. 
it's um yeah holy bundy that's insane so that's come up super so that's the crank set uh we've got that pretty much where we want to be we're going to take the bike down now and we'll move on to pulling the bearings out of the wheels Radio guys here we go we've got next stage is the rims we're going to be pulling both the bearings uh, out of here it's a similar setup to that the crank hub uh, housing where it's going to have the bearings just sitting on a lip in this machined aluminium area so first thing we're going to pull the shaft out okay so if you just crack one off and loosen that off then the other one and you leave the other one how it is the best thing about that is it'll keep that spacing right so you won't have to worry about adjusting the length in and out so your nuts aren't sort of hanging off when you go to tighten it up now it is a fairly thick sort of hub gonna need a reasonably long punch to get through if you get a normal normal size punch so that's probably normal what you get in the packet that's that's hitting there and it's not even coming it's not even getting to that bearing on the other side so that's just not long enough so just be aware when you do do the wheels um, you're gonna need some longer longer shaft so you can see the difference to push that bearing out right out we'll set this up uh, so we can start punching out these bearings. Okay, so I've got a bit of timber under here and I've got that my little just Teflon shaft. Two bits of timber would be perfect. Just something to keep it solid for that rim. You can even go, the closer in is probably better. All right, that's nice and solid. Just check down there. Yeah, space is moved. Okay, same thing. It's gonna be with our last one. So we want to work one side of the inside of that race each side just tap 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 so it's an even sort of push down otherwise it'll just jam on an angle so it shouldn't be that shouldn't be too bad and then just move it across and that's out easy so there's the old bearing one old bearing there and the ever important spacer so don't lose that, that's got to go back again in between the bearings before you put them in. So now you can see in here, so it's just a hollow with a little chamfered edge in there that that bearing sits on. We're going to clean all that up. I'll punch out this other bearing and then we'll go in and clean all that up and install the new bearings. Now once you've got that first bearing out, you've got all this space now, so it's a, it's a lot easier. So I can come in with a, a little bit bigger, something to make sure I hit exactly where I want. And then just just work on both sides. Out, piece of cake. So there's our other bearing. So we'll put him and that over there. So now you can see, I don't know if you can see right through it. Hey everyone. <laughs> uh, so that's all good. I'm gonna clean that up now. And again, just gonna use some clean touch from Bocca bearings that I use for my reels. It's a good solvent and it'll clean up that area. Again, you don't need much. Just get it in there, wipe it all around that area so those bearings have got, can just seat in there nicely and there's no dramas. You won't be back in here for a while, so make sure it's all that center's nice and tickety-boo and you'll be away. It all looks good in there. So now we need our new bearings. So there's our new Bocca bearings. We'll just check that, make sure they fit. They look like they're good. Match up the old ones, right thickness. Just double check everything. Again, that's why it's important just to be gentle when you are pulling those out. Again, another ceramic hybrid from Bocca Bearings. So we've clean, cleaned up the rim. That's all good to go. We Remember, we've got to put that back in. So we're going to clean that up, make sure that's all good. Okay, we're going to put this first one back in. All right, got it on there. I'm going to just... That's home. That's one in. Right. Spacer. Very important, sucker. Now, even though I said on the older bikes, some of the older bikes where the bearing sits may not have a lip. So it's probably even more essential that that spacer goes in. These have got a lip that they sit on, so it's not too bad. So I've got that spacer sitting in, this will go down to the lip, but it should be, that should be pretty much exactly what that spacer's 
uh, width is, so it'll be just sort of touching and everything should melt up nicely. So again, we'll just give it a quick little... <laughs> our socket that fits. It's going in nicely. Just keep working around so that cross hatch, so hit, 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 hit in that cross angle and that's that's what you want to sort of aim for that's perfect just about there i think we're uh, home we can just move that move that in a tube that's pretty darn close radio so that's our bearings installed all right our last thing we're going to do now we're gonna get our shaft again. And I just used something else to wiggle around because that's threaded. Don't forget that's threaded, so you don't wanna damage those threads. So if it doesn't go straight in, uh, just sort of wiggle it around with the punch you used. If you need to just adjust it, just a touch. And the far away, there we go. Beautiful. So just, yeah, just wiggle it around. Let that get in. Remember, once we lock that up, that's gonna, again, lock those bearings in where they're supposed to sit to. And we'll recheck it all once we've had a bit of a run. So that's that. Rightio, so that's, if you push that now, because remember we left that one locked up. So if I, I push that right through, then I can take that one up to where it's supposed to be. And you can pretty much, should be fairly safe just to lock, give that a bit of a nip up. Don't have to be much at the moment because it's gonna be locked up and you don't wanna go too tight. Just a little firm. That's good, that'll seat those bearings home nicely. So that should give us plenty of room to get that back on the front wheel of the bike. Um, we'll do this other rim, the rear rim, and we'll change the bearings in that, and then we'll put it all back together. If you're new to the channel, I do a bit of everything. Um, I started off fishing, and that's how I met Bocker Bearings. I did all my fishing reels with them, and they worked a treat. So I definitely can recommend them. They've been amazing, um, and their support for this video is much appreciated. If you haven't checked out uh, Bocker Bearings range of bearings, definitely go check them out. They do everything from RC cars to engines. Um, they'll do a lightning lube so you can treat old, uh, existing bearings so you've got to extend your life. And obviously the ceramic bearing ones you can do. And they do a fair bit of in school work as well for uh, stuff like that. So definitely go check out Bocker Bearings. Uh, they're, they do an amazing product. And I, as I said, I can definitely vouch for them. The bearings I've used for my fishing reels and these are thousand dollar reels are uh, just smicko and they're definitely better than new. So, and I've installed a few on, I think my Daiwa Roga, put them in brand new from start and it's just, it outcasts anything else without a problem. Uh, amazing bits of tech. They're really good customer service too, so you'll have no dramas. Uh, Michael and his team were there. If you're having trouble working out what bearings you need for a certain project, just drop them a line, they'll get back to you, and they, I'm sure they'll be able to sort it out. So yeah, thank you, Bocker Bearings. Get over, I'll put the link down below to go over and check them out. Uh, tell them I sent you. Fishing rules, RC, any, basically any sort of bearing application, Give them a call. If they can't work it out, they can definitely point you in the right direction. I'm sure they won't have a drama. They are, a fan, as I said before, a fantastic bunch of people and you will definitely hook yourself up. Rightio, uh, let's get this bike back together. I'll do a bit of a quick clean up here, magically, and we'll get this bike back up here and start putting it back together. Right, clean up time. Now. Rightio, there we go. Cleaned up, bikes ready, uh, tools sorted, ready to go. Let's put these rims and tires back on, set the bike up, and then we can have a look at how, how she runs and give it a test drive. Rightio, so we're gonna finish tensioning us all up. We've got that all sitting on there nicely. We're gonna make sure that chain's uh, lined up and on target, and there we go. Beautiful. Running true. Let that spin for a bit and I'll start putting in the next in the front one. Slide him in. Again, we've backed those brakes off originally. That's all good. That's sitting in there nice. Beautiful. Locked in. Let's see how that one spins.
That's pretty darn good. Bearings are in, it's time to test this machine. Just give me two shakes of a lamb's tail and we'll get this sorted. Rightio, so there's the finished product. She's back together. I've checked everything, I've adjusted all the brakes. Uh, gone over all here, we've changed the bearings in there. Those bearings are done, it's all working well. There's only thing, one thing left and that's a test drive. Okay guys, uh, just did some initial test laps so the bike didn't fall apart. That's come up good. It's gonna be windy. I will apologize for that for the sound if it's not 100%. I do have the uh, wind muff, you'll probably see that bouncing around the top of the screen there. But um, better that than a bit of Yes. Ah, uh, the bike, wow. Yeah, holy crap. This is silky smooth and super fast. You can definitely feel the difference. Take it around, I'll give you a little bit of a bit of B-roll action, a little bit of music, a little bit of something. Check out the bike riding and we'll get, head back to the office and have a chat. No worries. Operation success. Thanks, Bocker. Hey guys, how was that? That was cool. Global Flyer is back. Uh, new crank bearings, brand new bearings in both wheel sets, uh, ceramic hybrid, awesome for water, dirt, debris, crap. Uh, gonna last another lifetime. Super, super stoked. Come up really, really well. And rolling resistance, you can definitely feel the difference there super easy to take off but just yeah when i go and just a uh, hands off and just roll mode it's just yeah it just rolls so yeah very very happy super stoked big shout out to Bocker for hooking us up with the with the right ones i was just going to get the standard and they said no no try this ceramic hybrid they'll be amazing and they're right awesome work let's go inside and have a chat and close this out see you hey how was that for a ride Whew, hot so happy to get back in the shade. It is a stinker out there. Anyway, bike work the treat. Super stoked with the bearings. Can't can't be happier. Uh, nothing fell apart, so I did my bit. <laughs> so that's good. Um, yeah. Again, if you need anything bearing wise, you can see that come up a treat. Super stoked with that. Get in touch with Bocker Bearings if you're unsure. If you need any questions, if you ask myself, I can put you on the right people or you can email their customer support. They're a fantastic bunch of people. Michael and Violet out there will definitely help, help you out. And we'll see you all in the next video. And now if you haven't subscribed, hook us up, smash that bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Ciao.
stars. I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me, no. Nothing can break me. Ooh. 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 Ooh.